This movie was created by the kids from Switzerland, Colorado, and New Jersey. The Jewish Museum is a great place for learning and remembering about history. My favorite part of the museum is uh, uh, the coffee room because I often come here to take a coffee uh, but I also like the exhibition. Here we have uh, in wood with uh, gold paint. Um, we have uh, a copy of the Ten Commandments, and this was most likely on top of the Aron Hakodesh in uh, the synagogue here in Honims. Um, and uh, you see, there's five on the right and uh, five on the left. Um, and uh, I mean, these were the basic principles of the Jewish religion. <laughs> The Jewish synagogue, turned into a fire station in 1955, has now been turned into a synagogue once again, but after being a fire station for years, it shows its plainness and lacks a place for the Torah. What did you like about the synagogue? Well, I like the history and the fact that it used to be a synagogue and a gathering place for the Jewish community and that the building still exists and is used as a cultural center for everybody. I think that's a wonderful idea. What's your favorite part of the synagogue? My favorite part of the synagogue is its plainness, its reminder that even though this was formerly a synagogue, that we really don't have the old synagogue, that what is missing is the place where they place the Torah, something that reminds us of what was lost that we can never rebuild. The synagogue had been turned into a firehouse in 1955. Many of our ancestors are buried in the cemetery, one of the few that wasn't harmed during World War II. So the cemetery is that it's actually the place which, as the rabbi said before, exists since the community uh, of the Jews in Hohenems is in life, which means 1617. So it's a, a historic place. It's a place where they all rest and uh, it has also been, as I said in my speech, been the first monument which was in a way kept and later on after World War II restored and uh, through the Verein where I'm president of has been uh, uh, saved and maintained all over these years. Aaron Tanzer walked the same path in the cemetery and now we are walking the same path that he walked. So in a way it just draws us closer to him. Yeah. And that is awesome when you think about it. What did you think was most interesting about the cemetery? I thought that was what was most interesting was that um, the cemetery was spared from a lot of the damage that the Nazis had done to other cemeteries and that this one really um, seems to be in great condition. Well, I think it indicates that you've been here, that you're leaving something to let them know that you still care, that you're still with the family, and that you will always remember them. So, this is a nice place, isn't it? It's an old place. There are some that have been here so long, they're, they're going straight into the ground. This graveyard was first built, I think, in the 1600s. And uh, it's a Jewish graveyard. Right here. Hello, Mr. Oh, okay, that's too close. Hi, Mr. Spider. You're a very big spider indeed. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you a few questions. <laughs> okay, don't go away because we haven't asked you a question yet. Now, Mr. Spider, we're going to ask you a few questions now and you please answer them in your best voice. 
Next, we sail into Lake Constance on a boat with fun and cake. I have been looking forward for, I would say, almost three years now to this uh, to these days and I was so happy that so many people had decided to come to Hohenems and join us for the 2008 reunion.